Thousands of dollars worth of firefighting equipment gone, stolen out of the back of an SUV. That gear belonged to a unified firefighter. News specialist Dan Rascone spoke to him about what happened. Dan? Barrett Lodginus says he was just devastated, in complete shock. Couldn't believe that his gear was actually gone. They were in two huge duffel bags in the back of his Jeep. Firefighter Barrett Lodginus may look completely outfitted, but that's because he's not wearing his own clothes. Even, I mean, I'm even in a borrowed T-shirt and pants right now just to make sure that I can work today. The reason? All of his firefighting gear was stolen. I opened it up and it was gone. Right out of the back of his Jeep on Saturday night when he went to the used football game against the Oregon Ducks. Devastating. I mean, it was it just, uh, I was speechless. Barrett has been a firefighter for 13 years. He's currently with the Unified Fire Authority. His position has him roaming from stations. So on Saturday, he packed up all his gear in two huge duffel bags so that he could be ready to go straight to his station in holiday. But unfortunately, he believes he made a huge mistake and left his Jeep unlocked. I believe what, what happened is it was, it was a crime of opportunity. You know, maybe they've been ch checking vehicles and they found one that was open. Barrett estimates he lost about eight to $10,000 worth of equipment including his coat, boots, helmet, pants, an oxygen mask. But there was also a lot of sentimental gear he had collected over the 13 years of firefighting. And I actually had some custom shoulder patches that were attached to that and helmet patches that had my name as well. He's hoping someone decides the equipment has no value and turns it in. It has the department's name on it, it has my name on it. You could leave it at any firehouse, ring the doorbell, leave without even talking to anybody. And but regardless, the work goes on. But that's the way it is. Uh, we're resilient. We, we do our job and we, we push forwards. The University of Utah Police Department is now investigating the case. They're trying to see if they can possibly find some surveillance video. But right now, no major clues as to the suspects. If you know anything, call the U's Police Department. I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News.